the hell thought it would be fun to name their makeup line Flesh. Like, I feel like this is what would happen if, like, Hannibal Lecter had a daughter who decided to do, like, YouTube. Just flesh makeup. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, basically what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moon's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding them to my wishlist, or if I think they're a total washout. We have quite a few things to talk about today, so let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do, I just want to make a quick announcement. I'm filming this. I always film these basically in real time. I film them Tuesday and they go up Wednesday morning. Um, next week is 4th of July, the holiday here in the United States, and I'm basically the only one in my family that doesn't have the entire week off. <laughs> I did, I mean, of course, if you've been around for a little bit, you know that I did just start a new job and you really can't take vacation or days off as soon as you start a new position. So I really only have the Wednesday off is instead of the whole week. There are a lot of my coworkers that since the holiday falls on a Wednesday, which is really weird, they just decided to take the whole week off because for the most part, if a holiday falls on a Tuesday or Thursday, then the company or, you know, your school or whatever would give you the other day off. So if you're was, if the holiday was on a Tuesday, you'd get the Monday off too, make it a long weekend. Same thing with Thursday, if it fell on a Thursday, you'd get the Friday off, it'd be a long weekend. But for this holiday, since it's on a Wednesday, basically everyone just has that Wednesday off. And it's kind of awkward being right there in the middle of the week. So the majority of my family has the whole week off and we are actually going on a little bit of a trip. I call it a trip just because we're going to stay in a local hotel just so that we can do a big 4th of July kind of blowout and be down. Um, we watch the fireworks in or along the Hudson in New York. So we just got a hotel down there so we don't have to worry about driving back and forth with all the traffic because we've done that and it's a pain in the butt. So we're actually going to be doing that. So the announcement is next week there's only going to be three videos. A, win a video on Monday, a video on Friday, and then the weekly wish list or washout on Wednesday. And that's just because of the holiday and because uh, my whole family has the week off and I do want to spend a little bit of time with them and just because of the way the holiday fell, it's just a little strange. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this week's new products. There's a whole bunch of stuff on Trend Mood. I don't know what happened this past week. Everything exploded. So first, let's start with an update. So I don't know what's going on with Jaclyn Hill. I don't know. I think their excuse for like, oh, the batches are bad. I think it's I think it's really just talk and it's an excuse and they saw how many bad reviews are coming out and they kind of had like an oh shit moment and I don't know what they're gonna do. Are they just gonna reformulate everything and release it or? All in all, it's not really good PR, especially because they had already sold some palettes. Like I feel bad for everyone that went to Las Vegas and already got a couple of these palettes, if not the vault. I mean, that kind of turned me off a little bit, but what really, convinced me that I don't even need to go anywhere near these palettes anymore because I hadn't seen this before. Someone posted a, I think it was Chun Mu the, um, themselves, posted a picture comparing the original Jaclyn Hill palette to all four palettes and the way they arranged all of them you could see that like a good 60-70% of the colors are the same. <laughs> They look so similar, so essentially if you have the Jaclyn Hill palette, you don't need all these other little small palettes. Yeah, they're just so similar. So seeing that combined with what just happened with the pullback, I'm not interested in these, really not interested in any other Jaclyn Hill collaboration if I'm being honest because there's just so much controversy around them and it, I don't know. I love Jaclyn like as a person and I feel for her that she's going through these tough times. But th this is also the second time a palette has been pushed back like this from a collaboration with her. So I think the original Jack and Hill palette was excellent. I would highly recommend that palette. It's still available at Ulta and I believe on the Morphe website. But I'm not gonna really look forward to anything else from her. Yeah, you know, you just gotta say it. Another update, we saw what the uh, Chrissy Teigen Becca collaboration looks like and seeing it actually open, like of course the packaging is beautiful, the color is stunning, but it looks not too far off from the Royal Glow highlighter that I just got from Becca and I really don't need more than one. I mean they've got the same packaging so I wouldn't even be buying it for the packaging, it would just be like one or two shades off from a highlighter and I love the Royal Glow so I don't need to jump on another Becca highlighter just because it's got 
Chrissy Teigen's name on it. And we also found out what the Kush product from Milk is going to be. It's a Kush brow gel. Like, really? I just think this whole idea is so stupid. I talked about this last week, but this whole idea is just so stupid. And I was even in the market for a brow gel because I ran out of my ABH, which I love. I ended up picking up one from NYX. It's doing okay, but I definitely like the ABH one better. So I've been looking for some nice, like, clear brow gels. I'm having a little bit of trouble. But even, like... Knowing that, I wouldn't buy this product. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's really juvenile. It's writing a trend. It's literally, they're making this product for a thumbnail for YouTube. And that's it. So, Wayne Goss is coming out with his own makeup line. I think he is an excellent makeup artist. He gives some great tricks. He has a lot of clickbaity videos on YouTube. But from what I've heard about his brushes, they are beautiful and high quality, but they're expensive as all hell. So I cannot even imagine at what level his makeup line is going to be. I haven't seen any products from it yet. I think the only thing I'd really be interested in from him would be like a concealer because he does a lot of great like concealer hacks, concealer tip videos that I've learned a lot from. So if he came out with a concealer, I would probably jump on that. Also, depending on the price point because... I mean, his brushes are so expensive, so I don't know what he's gonna be pricing the makeup at. So Bite Beauty is coming out with like these sheer lip glosses called the French Press Gloss, and that sounds adorable. And they look really nice. They're just like some nude glosses, and I find myself going more for some like lightweight liquid stains as opposed to full on liquid lipsticks now that it's in the middle of summer. And I think these glosses would look beautiful like either on their own or just on top of like a lip stain like I'm wearing right now. So I'm actually really interested in like seeing these swatched like on myself so I could see them. Um, I really want to see flat white which is like that really really pale pink. And then vanilla latte which is a really really pale like coral. I think that coral will look stunning. I'm really interested in those. Hopefully I can see them either at Sephora or see some more swatches of them. Okay so I'm gonna be the first to say I don't get the hype around these Nurse Jamie things. Like you can massage your own face. You don't need to buy a $70 wand. Oh god it just it, it sounds really extraneous and stupid that they're selling wands and it's an eye massage tool which I know Elf came out with one and I thought it was ridiculous then and I still think it's ridiculous now that people are gonna spend this much money on something to just rub your face. I mean sure I mean I think it probably helps stimulate circulation but you could just massage your face and not spend $70 on a thing. I don't know, whenever I see things like this, I always just kind of roll my eyes. Like whatever I used to watch Tati and she talked about this, I was just kind of like, okay, yeah, sure. Mm. Sure. Okay, so I haven't talked about this one yet, but who the hell thought it would be fun to name their makeup line Flesh? Like, I feel like this is what would happen if, like, Hannibal Lecter had a daughter who decided to do, like, YouTube. Just flesh makeup. And then, like, everything is so sexual, innuendo-y. Like, their flesh, like, like the makeup or the, the foundation sticks. Like, oh, it's just a giant penis joke. Like, oh, it's juvenile. It's stupid. It's a brand new brand, so you have no idea what the quality is like. It's... They're just building it up just so that they could get talked about and they're gonna be gone in like another month and then no one's gonna talk about them again. That's kind of what happened with, what is it, um, Pretty Vulgar, do you remember that? Like they were really big for like a month because they had really pretty packaging and their names were kind of like cool, but like nobody talks about them. You don't see anything new coming out from them. Like I see their eyeshadow palettes in Sephora sometimes on like the bottom shelf, but you don't see or hear anything else. The same thing is gonna happen with this brand. So Rihanna is finally releasing a regular eyeshadow palette and not like a holiday glitter palette. I was hoping for a lot more. I think from a brand standpoint, 
it's predictable it is wearable because i know a lot of people were complaining that the last palette wasn't wearable so i'll give them that they listened it is a wearable palette but it's literally the same palette that everyone else is coming out with where it's a bunch of neutrals and a pop of blue take away the blue and then it looks like a bobby brown palette really yeah i don't know nothing is drawing me to this palette what is drawing me though is they um she is coming out with a couple of other products along with the eyeshadow palette she's got some eyeshadow brushes coming out and a liquid liner i want to try out that liquid liner because i think that would be nice so i want to try out the liquid liner odds are i'm gonna pass on the rest of the rest of it because yeah you know oh so something that I'm really surprised by and I can't wait to see is Lush is coming out with a foundation. I know Lush has some makeup and I've seen a couple of the YouTubers do videos on it and overall it hasn't been the best so I've kind of steered clear from the makeup at Lush but this foundation looks really fascinating and they've got a wide range of shades. I think it's going to look really interesting. So it's supposed to be a buildable medium coverage made of luxurious oils and waxes to give your skin that dewy post-facial glow. So I think it's going to be really interesting to try out. I wonder if it's going to be available online because sometimes, you know, Lush products are only available in the store. If it is, I do have a Lush not too far from me. So I'll see if I can go there. I don't know if they could like shade match you or what. But that's something I'm highly, highly interested in. And last but not least, once again, we have ColourPop. Now, they almost got me. They almost got me with the palette on the right because it has that diagonal across the middle where it's like a teal, a blue, and then a deep green. They almost got me. I saw that palette and I was like, ooh, I want it. Cover up that middle diagonal. Yeah, yeah, it's six browns, three blues. And the palette next to it is that warm neutral palette that's literally everywhere. I do love the idea of ColourPop coming out with nine pan palettes. I think that was an excellent idea. I just think the colors need to be curated more. Do a neutral nine pan palette. Do a warm neutral nine pan palette. Do a colorful nine. Can you imagine a colorful nine pan palette from ColourPop? Ugh. I just, I get so frustrated with them because it's like with every release, they're missing the mark. They're, uh, I don't know. I don't know, nothing from ColourPop has really excited me lately other than like the foundation release, which <laughs> that video is getting filmed next. So, you know, probably next week it'll come out. Keep your eyes peeled for that because that, mm, mm. But really, ColourPop, get it together. Maybe take a break from releasing things for a little while, work in the back, get the juices flowing, and then come out with one like nice cohesive collection instead of just throwing something out every two weeks hoping something's gonna stick <sighs> man i got heated about that but they are they've been mm, they have so much potential i think that's the thing they have so much potential they're at such a great price point they're at such a great point in like the the the, blah. the company is at such a great point right now and they're just going downhill and it's sad to see because i was really rooting for ColourPop. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that for this week's weekly wish list or a washout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, next week there's going to be three videos, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let me know down below if you're interested in any of these products, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!